Hey everybody, CW here, Card Wolf, because I'm always on the hunt for great cards. And today, as I often do on Tuesdays, I like to open new products, brand new products that have come out very recently. And this is the strangest, most weird product I may have ever opened in the decades that I've been collecting sports cards. This is... I, I can hardly believe this exists. It is a... Uh, I don't know what you would call it, some sort of a strange partnership between Topps, Major League Baseball, and Bob Ross. That's right, the painter, Bob Ross, whose face is uh, right there between Shohei and Aaron Judge, that Bob Ross, who I like. I mean, I've always liked Bob Ross. I think he's, you know, really his videos are really relaxing and enjoyable. But uh, who came up with this idea? I mean, this is bizarre, right? I how does this even exist? I don't know, but uh, it was an online exclusive that you could only get on the Topps website, and it sold out immediately. Uh, I, apparently, there are a lot of people who thought this would be an amazing product, and they they uh, jumped right on it. So it sold out instantly, and uh, I got my hands on uh, some of this, and so we've got this happy little box that we're going to open today and find some baseball cards inside and see what players we pull and how much joy we get out of this uh, joy of baseball product. Bob Ross and Major League Baseball. That's right. That's what we're going to open today, this happy little box right here. It has one pack inside it with 12 beautiful cards. And it also has one exclusive easel parallel that is uh, packaged separately inside the box and some cellophane so you can see exactly what cards you get. So, uh, yeah, this is, uh, I don't even understand whose idea this was. I mean, how did somebody even come up with this somewhat crazy idea? I think it's nuts. But uh, in any event, these were uh, only available on the Topps website as an online exclusive. They sold out immediately. And uh, these little, uh, these happy little boxes were like 30 bucks for the box. And already... If you were trying to find some of these, if you've looked online, these are already going for like $70. I mean, the markup on these is insane already. And I don't understand. I, I guess people, I mean, they're admittedly, I have looked at what some of these cards look like and they're very pretty cards. They're, the idea here is that the cards feature one of Bob Ross's uh, nature paintings and then, I don't know, overlaid onto that or, or sort of inserted into that painting is a Major League Baseball player. And uh, they're actually quite attractive cards. They're just bizarre and weird. I don't, I don't really understand who came up with this crazy, crazy concept, but uh, they, some of them are actually quite pretty. There are inserts that you can get out of here. Some of the inserts are quite nice. There's one called uh, Paint the Corners. See what they did there. And that features a lot of pictures, and there's another one called Peak Performance, because Bob Ross painted a lot of mountains, and that one's Sluggers. And uh, there are a lot of parallels, different color parallels and things like that. And uh, you can actually get autographs out of these, too. I almost forgot that. I think one in four of these uh, boxes contain an autograph. So we do have, actually, a you know, compared to, like, blaster boxes and the kind of stuff I usually open on this channel, we actually have a pretty decent chance of... Pulling an autograph, it's a distinct possibility, 25% uh, chance that there could be one in this happy little box here that we're going to get into together on the channel today here on the Card Wolf Network. Thank you so much for coming by, by the way. Please hit the like button if you wouldn't mind. It helps out the channel a lot, and I certainly appreciate it. And consider subscribing if you like this kind of completely random and bizarre content. This is, uh, as I said, got to be the weirdest product I, I have ever seen or heard of, and uh, we're going to get into it right now. i got Mr. Kershaw to help us carefully open this happy little box, see what cards await us in here. I think this is how we get into it. I'll try not to cut off one of my digits and bleed all over these beautiful cards. I wouldn't want that to happen. Let's see what we have in here. As I said, I think there's one pack in here, 12 beautiful cards. And a special uh, exclusive easel parallel, as uh, it says right here on the top of the box. And uh, that's what we're going to be looking for. Bob Ross also himself has a card in this, and it's a super short print. So the Bob Ross card, which is uh, in the template of Topps' 2023 uh, regular uh, cards, is actually a really tough card to pull in and, and very high demand. So uh, looking for that one, too. 
as I said, one pack in here. And uh, get this out. Here's the one pack. Includes 12 happy cards with one guaranteed parallel or short print. So that's pretty sweet. And then uh, this is our easel, uh, our exclusive easel parallel that you can only get in happy little boxes. The um, other format for this, as I remember, it was like a, more of like a hobby box format. It had like, I think, six or eight packs in it or something like that. You're guaranteed an autograph and that's selling for even crazier money. So all right, let's see what our easel parallel looks like here. It is uh, Alex Manoa from the Blue Jays. And, you know, I mean, you can't see it because it's out of focus, but we'll get that in focus for you and you can check it out. I mean, that's a pretty card. You know, I'm mocking this product, but I bought it because I think the cards are actually really pretty, and that's kind of a beautiful card. I mean, I like the uh, the Blue Jays uniform and how it fits with the uh, beautiful blue background there with the, uh, the happy stream meandering towards the... Uh, you can just imagine Alex Manoa on the bank of the, the river there just throwing the ball back and forth with uh, one of his other Blue Jays pals and just uh, having a nice little nice little quiet time out in the woods. So that is the easel parallel and you can see the easel uh, there up in the corner. I don't know if that's what they all look like, but uh, Alex shows his artistry with a four pitch arsenal of swing and miss stuff. So interesting uh, text on the back as well. And uh, now we're going to get into this again. This includes at least one guaranteed parallel or short print, which could be an autograph. You never know. So uh, we'll see about this. And what we get out of here, 12 cards, and uh, I'm pretty excited to see it. You can get all kinds, of, and the cards are uh, modern players, contemporary players, obviously, but they also have a lot of Hall of Famers in here. And so uh, we could pull uh, could pull something really cool out of here. Who knows? All right, so we're going to start off uh, Manny Machado there, who uh, appears to be stepping through a swamp in, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know where that would be, but uh, it looks almost like the... I don't know, there's a palm tree back there. I don't know what's going on there, but Manny is uh, up to his shins in uh, some swamp goodness there. I hope he watches out for alligators. I guess that's why he brought his bat along to defend himself from uh, creatures such as that. So there you go. Let's see if the backs are the same. Yeah, I guess they are the same. You still get the easel. I'm not sure. Let's compare these two so I understand. Oh, I see. So they put some some wood framework below and above to show you that it is on an easel there and is a, a fine, fine painting. So that's why that's the easel parallel. They're kind of nice, actually. I like that. So uh, Manny Machado starts things off. And, uh, and then we go to Tony Gwynn. Nice Hall of Famer there. And that's a beautiful sunset. Tony Gwynn. It looks like he's maybe, I don't know, swatting at flies there. It looks like he's on, I don't know, just uh, the top of the dunes leading down to the beach. I'm not sure what uh, Tony is doing there, but... Uh, Another beautiful card, I, I gotta say. It's why I bought this. I, I think they are kind of pretty cards, and they're certainly extremely unusual. No question about that. We got Acuna. That's a nice pull. Acuna there appears to be walking through some sort of... He's on a path. You can see he's on a path there through some sort of uh, fields or plantation. I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, Acuna seems pretty relaxed. Maybe he's just spotted uh, some sort of exotic bird up in the tree there. You can see his attention has been pulled that way. We've got uh, Royce Lewis from the Twins, and he's in the same he's in the same field or orchard or whatever that is as Ronald Acuna. Perhaps they'll run into one another and uh, share a special moment. I don't know. It looks uh, very picturesque there. Oh, there's a shed in the background. Acuna was blocking that, but you can see it there. So there's a little shed back there perhaps where that's where they dry the tobacco leaves or something i don't know we got a rookie card here of bubba thompson from the rangers red skies at night sailor's delight or shepherd's delight or shepherd's pie in the morning i don't remember exactly what the saying is but it has something to do with sailors or shepherds and uh being delighted about it i don't really know what the saying is there but bubba thompson seems Pretty happy. He's going to watch out for that cactus, though, because those are sticky and they don't feel good. So, uh, very nice scene there. And Roberto Clemente. That's pretty sweet. Roberto Clemente wading through uh, some sort of pond there. Looks like there's some, some ducks there at his feet. 
Roberto Clemente. Nice one to pull there. I do like that. And I think the uh, parallels are next, so I'm going to go ahead and slip those to the back. Put uh, Mr. Clemente there. And then we got Jose Altuve of the Astros there with a beautiful mountain vista behind him. He's breathing the fresh air. He's got his uh, bat with him, and I hope he's not going to swat that, that cute butterfly down there. We wouldn't want that. Certainly not. That's a, a picturesque scene, no question about it. I'll probably use that word a lot in this product. But, uh, yeah, Altuve, he looks at peace. I mean, look at Altuve. He looks just like he is just enjoying himself out there. It's, it's amazing to me how they got all of these players to go out into these uh, beautiful vistas and pose like that. I don't know how they did that. That's really uh, must have cost a lot of money. Here's another rookie. It's Yoshida, Masataka Yoshida, the great uh, prospect rookie for the uh, Red Sox there. Had a pretty good season for them. And he seems to be somehow walking on the surface of, of that stream. I don't know how he's doing that. Maybe he has some sort of new technology floating shoes or something i'm not quite sure how he's or maybe this is frozen perhaps this is a pond and it's frozen and it looks like he's walking very carefully on the ice maybe that's what's happened i don't see any snow on the ground though so it's very confusing as to what's going on in that picture but uh, a nice rookie card of yoshida nothing wrong with that happy to pull that one and then we got aaron judge that's a big one nice pull there aaron judge who's up to his knees in what doesn't look like it would be a very deep uh, pond there, but uh, clearly looks are deceiving there because Aaron Judge is uh, he's he's really deep into that thing. He's got his bat along, I guess, to uh, you know poke ahead of him and make sure he doesn't uh, you know hit a I don't know some sort of deep well there in the middle of the the stream and plunge in. So that's good that he's got that along for safety. So uh, nice to see that Aaron Judge card. We got another rookie card here. It's Tristan Tristan Casase from the Red Sox, and boy, that's a beautiful vista too. Look at that. He's just out there in the middle of a, a huge, huge field, a mountain in the background, happy little trees right here. No question about that. And uh, that's just beautiful. I mean, that's like I said. These cards really, I'm I'm mocking them relentlessly because it's easy to do, and and that's what I do on this channel sometimes. But uh, that's really. Uh, I mean, what can you say? These, you know, the Bob Ross paintings are quite lovely, and, you know, Topps did a, a pretty decent job of getting the players uh, in there in a way that, you know, I don't know. It's a nice, nice one. So we got a uh, couple of things coming up here, and I'm going to, I'm not sure which one is better. I'm going to try this one. It's Yoshida again. It's a double Yoshida pack. Let me get uh, Tristan out of the way there. So this is, uh, I think this is a peak performance uh, insert of Yoshida, so that's pretty sweet. I like to see that. That's a very nice card. And then we got the one behind him is a little bit thicker, so that's why I put it uh, as last. I don't know what it's going to be, but uh, that's a pretty card. I like that one. He looks like some sort of a uh, giant striding over the mountains there, but uh, you know, nonetheless, it's a it's a very nice card. I I do like that one. That's a cool card. I think it's a peak performer card. And then behind that, we've got. Uh, does it say? Oh, this is Budding Talents is what this one is. Budding Talents is the name of that insert. So we actually got two uh, insert cards out of here, which is pretty sweet. So we got the uh, Budding Talents Yoshida. And uh, then behind him, what is our, our other special card? It's Luis Areas from the Marlins. This is a numbered card, and it is out of uh, 99. It looks like 35 out of 99. And that is really cool. Uh, Araya's out there. The gentle waves lapping at his heels. A lighthouse off in the distance. It's probably uh, pretty hard to see the ball in that fog. But uh, there you go. That's a sweet looking card. I like all of the uh, color around it. And this is, I think, uh, I think these are called canvas something or other. And they're thicker than the regular cards. You can't really see it, but they are thicker than the regular cards. And the finish is more sort of canvas-like. I don't know if the light is picking that up very well for you, but uh, let's see what the back says. The back, in typical Topps fashion, tells us nothing about what kind of insert this is, but uh, it is some sort of special insert. It's obviously numbered, and, and that's pretty cool. So we got two inserts out of that happy little box, as well as the uh, exclusive easel insert. So a pretty good box. Some nice rookies. Got two Yoshida rookies. That's pretty sweet. And uh, we got some big stars out of there, too, which is very nice, including... 
uh, Aaron Judge, Clemente, which I'm pretty pumped about, Tony Gwynn, and Acuna as well. So uh, I don't know why these are off center. I guess I had the pack over there, the box or something. I don't know. But anyway, there you go. You have now experienced something that uh, I never ever imagined that I would experience, which is Bob Ross baseball cards. That's uh, I, I don't know, you guys. I, you know what I really want to know is what you think of this product. Tell me in the comments what you think of this stuff because uh, I, I kind of like it. I mean, I kind of uh, would normally turn my nose up at something that feels very gimmicky to me, but I actually really enjoyed opening that, and they're kind of pretty cards, and I don't know. It was, it was very satisfying for some reason, so I hope you guys uh, will let me know what you think of it. If you think it is the most absurd thing in the world, please say so, and uh, if you liked it, you can certainly tell me that too. I, I don't know. I think they're pretty cool cards. I like them. I wish I would have gotten a better player for my numbered card, but, you know, you still have two inserts in a, in a pack. You can't complain too much about that. Nice Yoshida rookie, so that's pretty cool. All right, that's the show today, and that is a uh, very unusual product. I think we can agree. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be back tomorrow with a pack battle with Average Joe. Thursday is anything can happen, Dan. I'm going to tell you right now what's going to happen since you stuck with this video for so long. I'm going to be doing a grading return on Thursday, so definitely stay tuned for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very interesting to see what I get. I have no idea what uh, my grades are, and I'm looking forward to finding out. And then Friday, of course, is Dorking with Dice. We do that every week here on the channel every Friday. Thank you so much for coming by. I'll see you back here tomorrow. And as always, happy, happy collecting.